What's up guys? Welcome back to another interview with Web3 TV. I'm Adele, I'm the host, and today I have a special guest with me, Reza from Intelliger. Reza, feel free to introduce yourself. Uh, I'm Reza Espanian. Uh, I've, been work in, I've been working in the field of AI uh, for the past 10 years. I studied um, computer science and uh, later on specialized in AI. And I've been doing different projects in the field of uh, medtech, fintech, and martech. And uh, what interests me in AI is that uh, it helps uh, businesses uh, opening, open, to open new doors and find new opportunities and transform their business, basically. Very nice, great. So I see that you're the CEO of Intelliger.ai. Obviously, you're using a lot of artificial intelligence as a service. Yeah. Uh, please tell us a little bit about what your business is providing and how it's bringing value to users. Intelligent in a nutshell is uh, personalizing every offer, every content, and every pricing on your website as a business owner. So we don't believe that each client could be a, could be a B2B business or a B2C. Uh, would like to see, uh, would get, the, would like to have, get the same offer uh, like anyone, and uh, we want to take personalization into um, account, and um, not only the that customer, but the market trends. The market is dynamic; is changing all the time, and businesses cannot cannot cope with that easily. Intelligent makes that very simple. Uh, we offer end-to-end -end, uh, marketing automation uh, so businesses shouldn't uh, or wouldn't want to um, focus on basic tasks also complex tasks but uh, they can focus on strategies and intelligent ai executes those um, in strategies for them oh, very interesting so you're helping uh, execute strategies on behalf of uh, businesses uh, helping to streamline uh, their ability to perform and hopefully that makes life a lot easier for them which is great so um, just to recap you're working with businesses only is it a b2b service or is it b2c or is it both indeed it's only b2b only b2b um, and in terms of the, the type of clients that you work with what do they what are the typical characteristics uh, that the clients have to have uh, before you work with them well they have to be uh, selling a product online so it could be a physical or a service um, and they have to be able to um, or they, they would want to uh, contact be in touch with their clients uh, permanently as well as they want to uh, reach their clients beyond uh, the, the classical marketing channels and that would be our maybe basic prerequisites for working with them. Okay. Makes sense. So we're here at the Future Blockchain Summit. Um, and what, what brings you here? Why uh, exhibit here and what are you trying to achieve? Well, as I mentioned, many uh, online businesses, Web3, blockchain uh, companies, want to uh, customize their offering, personalize it for their end uh, customers so we want to we want to open that door for them uh, that's basically our main goal and we want we want to understand their needs as well because uh, that's totally different for example from e-commerce we want to understand financial services better what they are what, what the new things that they are bringing to market and maybe uh, change or make them make those uh, uh, make our services more compatible with them Thank you so much for your time. I, I, learned a, I, I learned a little bit about your company and uh, I wish you the best. I hope it's um, a fantastic experience in the remaining days here at the Future Blockchain Summit. So, thank you so much. Awesome. Thank you for having me. This is Web3 TV. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.